Okay. Um, as this year's, you can be seated, by the way. Yeah. I didn't want you to have to stand through the whole speech. As this year's elected senior class president, I've been asked to give the opening welcome and uh, a few graduation thoughts. However, uh, the class of 95 will also recall that I was this year's elected class clown. And therefore, um, I find it hard to give the typical uh, graduation speech, so I won't. However, just to uh, satisfy everyone who was expecting that, I will quickly do a sample of the normal uh, emotional graduation speech. I'm just getting ready here. <laughs> Just give me a minute, I'm a little emotional. <laughs> well, it's so good to see all you guys. Well, we did it. Here we are in the majestic Target Center. We finished the first phase of our epoch. We're, we're on the gateway here to our glorious higher education utopia. We did it. I'd just like to sing you all a little song I wrote. <laughs> well, I got my first six string. Here at Jefferson High, played it till my fingers bled. Well, it was the year of 95, ooh, standing in Jack Hall. This year was going to last forever, ooh, these were the best days of my life. OK. Sorry to put you all through all that, but uh, now I'll get on to some real thoughts I had about graduation. Um, I read a quote a while ago from Oscar Wilde, and I think it sums up some things I've been thinking recently. It says, there are only two tragedies in life. One is not getting what one wants, and the other is getting it. The second is the real tragedy. Now, I know that seems like a little bit of an odd quote for graduation, but I'll tell you why I share it with you. Right now, we hear a lot about uh, goals, you know, striving for the future, reaching for the stars. You can have whatever you want if you just go after it. You know, uh, go to college, get good grades so you can get a diploma, so you can get a good job, so you can lead a happy life. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, those certainly aren't bad things. But Think about the quote from uh, Oscar Wilde. I think it's true. Sometimes getting what you want can be a tragedy. You might get some happiness out of the deal, but what about you know, real fulfillment or uh, satisfaction? What I'm suggesting is that uh, there's more than just goals to look at. What I'm saying is that in this you know, transition period, as everybody says, instead of looking towards the future, uh, maybe taking a step back and looking around us, you know, actually asking questions like, what is life about? What is my life about? And not just settling for the quick answers we always give ourselves, but actually being willing to take a risk to have to change our whole life view. I mean, that is a big risk, but to actually answer these questions. I know it sounds a little bit philosophical, but I don't think it's too intellectual because I'm giving it, and also because. I, mean, I think everybody's able to ask questions about, you know, who am I really, and what has made me this way, and is this who I want to be, and how do I fit in with life, and what is my relationship to God, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I, and I think that they can be important questions to us, too, and relevant to our personal life, not just far off philosophical questions or, you know, how we go, okay, what's the meaning of life? Well, I'll read a quick. I'll take a quick philosophy course in college, okay, now to get on with whatever I want to do. Because we all have a philosophy of life, you know, whether we think about it or not, and I think we all need to step back and look at why we have this philosophy and what it really is. And I hope I don't sound uh, preachy up here today, because, I mean, that would mean I'd be acting pretty superior, and right now um, I'd look out and I'd see a lot of friends. And I, and I know that, you know, in a Maybe in a few months or even a few years, a lot of us, we won't always think about each other because, I mean, when you're not by people, you just, they're just not in your thought process all the time. But that's okay because, I mean, right now, uh, right here today, I'm thinking about this class and uh, 
and I'm feeling well besides being very nervous, I'm uh, feeling thankful to have known a lot of you. So I'm, I'm not preaching and I certainly don't want to be an emotion, or, uh, motivational speaker, but I'm just saying maybe this summer, instead of looking towards the future and what we want out of life, maybe we can look around a little bit, or maybe it won't affect us right now, but in the future, if you're happy but not satisfied, or neither, maybe take a step back and look at, yeah, I guess I've achieved some of my goals, but there's more to life that really matters. Um, well, that's the end of my speech, and uh, just like to welcome um, the parents and uh, guardians, grandparents. You really have effected, not affected, what's going on today. And uh, welcome teachers, thank you, and uh, friends, relatives, uh, for their support. And graduates, enjoy your princess blue gowns and have a great graduation. Thank you. Give rise to the play. I will. <laughs> Okay, if uh, we could rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And please remain standing for the national anthem. Let us take a moment of silence to think of all the people who have helped to join us together one last time. And now, a musical selection by the Jefferson Concert Choir. Thank you. 
Two very accomplished seniors have been chosen to give speeches tonight. They are Jeremy Willie with a speech entitled Our Box of Chocolates and Ann Ladela with a speech entitled Our Time to Shine. Throughout his exciting life, the film character Forrest Gump plunged into new experiences like an explorer venturing through uncharted waters. At one point in the film, Forrest, tell, Forrest speaks to a woman with a special insight when he tells her that life is like a box of chocolates, because you never know what you're going to get. You never do know exactly what life will throw at you, for you see, each experience is its own chocolate in the box of life. You never know what's inside or if you should really take the chance at finding out. As each of us in the class of 1995 looks into the future, it is difficult for us to foresee what will happen. What's in store for the class of 1995? I remember that first day of kindergarten at Ridgeview Elementary. I was very excited about starting school. On that day, I bit into my first chocolate. As I set out for school that day, with my backpack strapped tightly to my back and my Transformers lunchbox in hand, I did not know what was to come. Today, we are graduating, and with that, we are presented with the opportunity to start a new beginning. But we are much better prepared this time around. For this time, we take with us everything we have learned and accomplished through our years at Jefferson. You see, although we do not know what is yet to come, at least we start in this new direction knowing that it will only be whatever we make of it. Life, for the class of 1995, will depend on the chocolates we select and the new experiences we are willing to try. What type of chocolates will we try? What type of experiences will we plunge into? As I again look back to kindergarten, I remember crying that morning. I was overwhelmed with excitement and fear at the idea of leaving home. I desperately wanted to stay where I felt secure. I wanted the safety and security of having my parents always there for me, just in case I needed them. With us, we don't know what things will be like in the future, and that makes us apprehensive. 
we are reluctant to sample our own box of chocolates because we are not sure what will be inside. For these reasons, we are afraid. But we have no reason to be. For even if some of our experiences are not positive, which some may not be, we will always have people there for us if we need them. For some, it's their parents and family. For others, it's a best friend or a teacher. We are not alone. There is always someone there to help. We just need to have the courage to find out who it will be. Throughout the film, Forrest Gump ate a lot of chocolates and tried a lot of new things. He was never afraid to bite into a new experience to see just exactly what it held in store for him. His courage and initiative to try new things is something that each one of us needs to find within ourselves. We must each figure out which chocolates we will choose. For some, it will take time. For others, the path is clear. But as long as you open the box and see what's inside, it doesn't really matter how long it takes. In closing, we all need to try our own chocolates. Each of us needs to try new things and become involved in new experiences. Like Forrest Gump, we should not be afraid to take chances in life. For you see, each of us will have that box of chocolates, neatly wrapped, resting comfortably on the counter. Some people will be satisfied by just leaving it there. These people will always have to wonder what could have been. But for others, they will unwrap that box and look inside and experience things they had never expected. My question to you is, what will you do with that box on the counter? What type of chocolate will you bite into? Thank you. If you have a dream, follow it. If you catch a dream, nurture it. And if your dream comes true, celebrate it. Being part of the class of 1995 means celebrating our dreams. It was just four short years ago that we first walked into the halls of Jefferson High School as excited and nervous freshmen. Now we are leaving those same halls as excited and still a little nervous graduates. There have been 25 years of graduates ahead of us, and there will be at least 25 years after us. But today is our day. Today it is our opportunity to go out into the world and live out our next dreams, or to carry our current ones to new heights. Now is our chance to shine in the face of tomorrow. Wherever the path ahead takes us, whatever dream we choose to follow, we must remember that it is our dream. Jefferson has helped us learn about ourselves. It has taught us the value of a good friend, how to fight our way to victory, and even how to accept defeat graciously. With these qualities, we will better be able to understand the world around us as well as ourselves. Now it is our turn to take responsibility for our lives and create our own destinies. With every memory shared between friends comes a common reality that everyone here is a part of each other, like the importance of each piece to a puzzle. We are real people with real goals and real aspirations who have created a time together that can never be duplicated. We may see it as simply people just being people, but each of us shines with our own inner strength. Each of us comes alive in our own unique and dazzling moment. Each of us has a chance to touch a life of someone around us and achieve a kind of accomplishment which is truly whole and triumphant. My grandmother once told me that if we listen to the past, we will understand who we are. If we look to the future, we may see who we will become. But if we believe in today, we will plant the rainbows for tomorrow. We, 
the graduating class of 1995, need to believe in ourselves and in our dreams. For now is our time to live our lives as brilliantly as we can, because we are the rainbows that will shine for tomorrow. And now a musical selection from the Jefferson Concert Band. Thank you. 
According to the poet James Russell Lowell, light is the symbol of truth. The lighting of this candle symbolizes our quest for knowledge. It represents the struggles that we have undergone in order to attain a better understanding of our world. As we move into the future, let this illumination continue to guide our way. Through the acquisition of knowledge, we can achieve our goals. As the namesake of our school, President Thomas Jefferson once said, enlighten the people generally, and tyranny and oppressions of body and mind will vanish like evil spirits at the dawn of day. And now, a musical selection by the Jefferson Connection. Good evening and welcome. The preparation of some few words to share with graduates, family, and friends should be a simple task for an individual whose day revolves around people, around issues, and communications. However, I found that after a weekend of reflection that the task is still quite complex. One must consider past and future youth and maturity, friendship and individualism, as well as the purposes of general education. As you might recognize, there is not an easy answer or a simple construct to follow. It is particularly important to me to offer words of value, 
My association with these young adults has been over these past four years. I remember greeting them as ninth graders. I suggested that they would graduate in the year of my graduation from high school. With just a few years apart and the numerals reversed, they were to be the 25th graduating class of Jefferson, a special honor. From their entrance into Jefferson, they were destined to be special. The graduates before us have become acquainted with high expectations. Each has given his or her all toward those expectations. Each has also given to others a measure equal to that which they receive tonight. We have learned from them about achievement, about contentment, about satisfaction, about scholarship, and about the importance of commitment to others in everyday lives. Throughout their years, in conversations in classrooms, through visits in the stands at activities, at athletic events, in an office, or a brief hallway meeting, they have demonstrated their sincerity. The musical offering we just heard by the Jefferson Connection was entitled, May Our Paths Meet Again. It is a question, will we meet again? What relationship will we have as we meet by chance in Boston or at weddings of the future or in the hardware stores of Bloomington? Who will we become? It is also a statement, we will meet again. The people before us will meet us through their spirit, their efforts, and their mutual accomplishments into our future. These people will create international scholarship, social performance, and personal insight that will give our future new paths, brighter walkways virtual opportunities for every member of society. We entrust to them our future. In a book entitled The Golden Journey, I find occasional momentary opportunity for reflection and relaxation. At Jefferson High School, we have been on a journey that is truly golden. As teachers, as parents, as principal, and friends of class members, we have done our best to lead these special young people toward the shimmering pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Throughout these several years together, through mutual experiences and through increasingly gradiated achievement, we are now culminating a journey at a very real pot of gold. This commencement this very new beginning. As Goethe stated, ambition and love are the wings to great deeds. We have observed in our years together that ambition, the quest for learning, and the love for others will bring these graduates to great deeds. We wish to these graduates that they carry on. They use our support and their strengths to move forward toward accomplishing their great life deeds. They are our future. They are our treasure. They are our life's work. We wish for each of them a sense of pride, a sense of achievement that parents, teachers, principal, and all feel this evening. As golden treasure, they will be missed but not lost. They will not be lost, for our paths will meet again. Congratulations, graduates. As the administrator in charge, I certify the completion of graduation standards established by the state, the state of Minnesota and by School Board of Independent School District 271 for these students. At this time, I take great pleasure in introducing to members of the Bloomington School Board to Superintendent of Schools Tim Connors, and to the larger audience of friends and family, the 1995 graduating class of Thomas Jefferson Senior High School. 
May I present the class of 1995? Thank you. Good evening. It's a pleasure and an honor as superintendent of schools to stand before the graduating class this evening in the community and on behalf of the school board and the community at large and our employees throughout the school district to thank the parents, grandparents, guardians of the youngsters who are graduating this evening for a job well done. To especially thank our colleagues that are dispersed throughout the graduates and their black robes, the teachers and the staff here on the podium who were responsible for working with the graduates over the last four years for a job well done. And to finally thank the graduating class for an especially uh, fine job during their four years at Jefferson. If you've had the opportunity to watch them on the playing field, in the choir, in the band, and the uh, host of activities, you know that they are truly uh, outstanding young people. So it's with a great deal of pride that all of us tonight as a community say to the graduating class, congratulations for a job well done. As you leave here this evening, you'll take a great deal of pride in your accomplishments. Your parents will and your teachers will. And then all of us will begin to start to get a little nervous because the one thing we know for sure about your future and about the future of this country and this nation and the world is that change is inevitable. It will happen and we have to be prepared for that. In order to be prepared, I would suggest to all of you, regardless of what your plans are for going on to college or going to work or into the service or whatever choice you've made, that you have to commit yourself to being a lifelong learner. If you don't do that, as you approach and get into the 21st century, you're gonna find that things have changed, unlike your parents and grandparents, you're not going to be able to go to the world of work and stay in the same job for 25 or 30 years. The statistics show now that people are changing jobs much more, much more frequently and that on average, a lifespan in a, in a particular position is about five years. You also know that in terms of information and knowledge, the changes that are going on are astronomical and that if you don't become technologically literate, if you're not prepared for change, if you're not committed to be a lifelong learner, then you are not going to find the success and happiness that you have prepared for to this time. So I would suggest to you that you should enjoy this evening, and then you should think about tomorrow. Think about it in terms of just as your parents and the community and your teachers have worked hard with you to prepare you in terms of your growth and development, you need to commit yourself to becoming part of the greater community and doing your part not only for yourself and your family, but for the community at large. Uh, some of the things that I thought about and that I heard this evening in terms of a, of a recipe for a successful life is that you need to recognize that all of the resources that you need to be successful are within yourselves and within your mind. You need to be brave enough and smart enough to accept the help of others. You need to understand that there are no shortcuts to any place worth going. The harder you work, you'll find the luckier you get. You can't wait for your ship to come in. You have to swim out to it. You have to make things happen. And then you have to recognize, as I know many of you have done in a host of ways at Jefferson, is that you cannot be afraid to take risks. The biggest risk in life is not risking at all. And of course, a bottom line for success for anyone is you have to be optimistic, you have to believe in yourself, and you have to believe that you can succeed. Know that there are still your parents, your teachers, and others that you will meet in life as well as one another that are there to help you. Don't be afraid to ask for help, and most importantly, don't be afraid to, to help others. And finally, you need to remember that to err is human. Just try not to overdo it. 
to all of you, again, I would say uh, to the teachers, thank you for a job well done, to the parents and to the community and all of those people out in Bloomington. It's a wonderful place to live. Where we have athletic coaches and, and uh, dance teachers and music teachers and just countless people that are always stepping forward to help our young people. Uh, to those also go a special thanks. And to all of the employees of the, uh, the Bloomington School District, uh, thank you. And to the graduates, enjoy the evening. And uh, you know what? It's a pretty exciting time to be alive. You're going to be hitting, many of you, the workforce in the 21st century as you come out of college. And I can tell you there are many of your teachers that are sitting around that would uh, like to be part of that. Uh, good luck, and thank you for a job well done. Jason Allen Almondinger. Amanda Ray Anderson. Bjorn Carl Anderson. Christina Jean Anderson. Dana Hope Sun Anderson. Jeffrey Mark Anderson. John Randolph Anderson. Carrie Lynn Anderson. Michael James Anderson. Nathan William Anderson. Nicole Marie Anderson. Scott Ryan Anderson. Jeffrey Scott Andrews. Yurianti Arifuti. Chad Wayne Bargren. David M. Beckman. Paul Daniel Belden. Allison Adriana Belmore. Jacqueline M. Berg. Daniel David Bergstrom. Sarah Elizabeth Bernard. Michael Aaron Bertelson. Stacy L. Bilkey. Ethan Robert Bischoff. James Michael Blanchard. Beth Lori Bleckinger. Katrina Jean Bolden. Kenyatta Bolden. Annette Lee Bros. Nicole Marie Brooks. Thomas M. Broom. Aaron F. Brossom Myring. Daniel Allen Brown. Kale Celeste Brown. Mandy Renee Brown. Tanya Marie Brown. Mark A. Bruner. Matthew Kenneth Brunswold. Kristen Marie Bullard. Robert William Burdick. Rachel Enley Burke. Jamie Carol Canonico. Anders Lawrence Carlson. Matthew John Carlson. Ryan Wesley Carlson. Michael John Carsrud. Melanie Faye Cater. Joseph T. Seithamel. Yuri Centella. Katie A. Chadwick. Sean Gregory Chalmers. Brent M. Chamberlain. Ernie S. Chan. Callie Jane Christensen. Kimber Kimberly Ann Churchill. Megan Elizabeth Cleary. Megan Michelle Clegg. Brian Harris Klein. Nicole Renee Codling. Gary D. Coliander. Nikki Lynn Cook. Matthew Joseph Cooper. Jason G. Craig. Nadia Noel Kramer. Bernardo Cristerna. Melissa Ann Cronin. Melissa Michelle Cuff. Ryan Mark Cummings. 
Jamie Elizabeth Kutzinger. Jeffrey A. Dolan. Laurie Ann Dahlgren. Andrew John Danielson. Heidi Renee DeFore. M Megan Ann Devlin. Mark David DeVore. Laura Jane Diedrichson. Deborah K. Dietz. Laurel Kelly Dinnan. Jennifer O. Dolland. David J. Dotre. Shay Allison Duntley. Hui Duck Young. Gregory Allen Disty. Matthew Thibault Ernest. Jessica Marie Edmonds. Elizabeth Ann Ehlers. Alicia Sue Eckland. Casey James Elder. David James Elliott. Clayton Troy Ellis. Kristen C. Engberg. Mich Michelle Lee Engabritson. Scott David Erickson. Chad Michael Esslinger. Allison Renee Faber. Sean David Fecate. Jessica Don Fernland. Aubrey Lynn Fisher. Allison Jessica Flagg. Chad A. Ford. Christopher Ryan Ford. Brian R. Franzen. Daniel F. Fritzen. Roxanne M. Fritzen. Lisa L. Garut. Kelly Dawn Garrett. Tiffany Marie Gaston. Jessica Hale Gears. Amy Catherine Gentz. Thomas B. Jurdy. Elizabeth Florence Gerdes. Heidi Catherine Gerdes. Matthew J. Gibbs. James Murphy Gilham. Catherine Jane Gilson. Carrie Cobb Giltner. Anne Christine Gleeman. Michelle Rachel Gold. Bennett Ezra Goltz. Elliot Andrew Goltz. Nicholas J. Gonier. Michael D. Gonzalez. Natalie Ray Goodermont. Heather Renee Goodwin. Scott Patrick Goolsby. Michelle Elizabeth Gottry. Kristen M. Graves. Matthew Franklin Greinert. Janelle Mary Griffin. Jeffrey James Griffith. Brant Goodrow Grimes. Melissa Ann Grayler. Joe John Groninge. David John Grusing. Stephen Peter Guggenberger. Jason L. Gustafson. Gregory Joseph Gusweiler. Jane Lynn Habicht. Sarah Kathleen Habig. Carissa Deanne Hagen. Stephen Arthur Hahn. Joseph Adam Heisman. Ryan G. Hall. Nicholas John Halverson. Thomas P. Hammerland. Lindsay J. Hansen. Joshua John Hansen. Kimberly Dawn Hansen. David W. Harder. Brian Stephen Harrison. Patrick Sean Harrison. Daniel Grant Heim. Michael James Heim. Jonathan David Hines. Melissa Lee Heinzman. Kara Lynn Helgeson. Sarah Lynn Hesse. Tracy Sue Hilden. Christopher Robert Hill. Joshua Dustin Hink. Peter Anthony Heinrichs. Allison Lynn 
Hertz. Duane Allen Jelt. Caroline Patricia Hoffrichter. Matthew John Holmstone. Teresa Jo Holding. Mark Andrew Hudson. Carolyn Joanna Hughes. Kelly Marie Haltgren. Amy Jean Hungate. Tan Mai Win. Amy L. and Sarah. Laura Christine Jacobson. Gordon Irvin Jocks. Nicole Claudia Jarvis. Aubrey Elizabeth Jeffers. Larissa Mary Johannes. Travis, Travis E. Johansson. Carrie Elizabeth Johnson. Corianne April Johnson. Mitchell Allen Johnson. Scott Andrew Johnson. Andrew Charles Campen. Catherine Sybil Kelly. Trin T. Koo. Stephanie Amber Kilmer. Marissa Renee Kimbrough. Kelly Jean King Allison. Ryan Douglas Jurassic. Ellen Christy Klein. Paul Anthony Closey. Ryan Christopher Knapp. Nicole Marie Knopf. Sonia Katrina Knopf. Jean Magdalene Kopeski. Sashin John Koshi. Melissa I. Kretzman. Kirsten Elizabeth Creer. Charles Nathan Chris. P Paul M. Craning. Christopher C. Crow. Jessica Ann Kunz. Catherine Mary Kopecki. Jennifer Ann Cooper. Kelly Lynn Kuiper. Christopher Patrick Kuznia. Terrell A. Lamere. Eric T. LaRue. Tyrone John Lahr. Anne Michelle Latela. Brianna Marie Lamb. Jacob Bruce Langevin. Aaron May Langness. Deanna Elizabeth Larson. Matthew Gerhard Larson. Chad Stephen Lottie. Joseph Charles Lee. Derek Scott Lenberg. David R. Lennertz. Viviana Wing Ling. Sarah Renee Lindsay. Jennifer Mary Ellen Lindstrom. Dale Jeffrey Ling. Andy Lowe. Lena Lindgard Lund. Doanne Trang Lee. Laura Beth Lynam. Michael Stewart Lynch. Jason M. Lyons. Jessica Jeannie McCauley. Douglas C. McBee. Ryan Michael Malmstrom. Brandon Douglas Mansky. Dale Allen Mar Marinenko. Benjamin David Marshall. Travis Wayne Martz. John E. Matson. Anne Elizabeth Maurice. Anne Christina Maus. Ryan Kent Maxson. Michael Thomas Maxwell. Lisa Marie Maycroft. Christina Marie McAndrew. Amy Kathleen McCann. Sarah Ann McDaniels. Joseph Lauren McDonald. Robert James McDonald. Thomas Michael McHugh. Bart Allen McKee. Jennifer Lucille McNamara. Carrie Joy Meyer. Nicole Melissa Meyer. Philip Lee Meyer. Scott Fr Christopher Millenacker. Scott Allen Mitch. 
Chad Marshall Moline. Timothy Edward Monahan Jr. David Michael Mundy. Bradley James Moreland. Alan Robert Murray. Deborah Susanna Morgan. Andrew James Mowat. Sarah Renee Mulder. Christina Ann Meyer. Grant Grant Martin Nelson. Jennifer Hope Nelson. Jessica Ann Nelson. John Matt Nelson. Kelly Ann Nelson. Kirk Kirk Matthew Nelson. Nat Nancy Margaret Nelson. Susan Renee Nye. Kwong Duck Win. Joseph J. Nord. Robert Lowell Noreen. Lori Lynn Nungaser. Brent Stephen O'Malley. Cynthia Catherine Olmsted. Javen Todd Olson. Nicole Marie Olson. Dana Marie Ostergaard. Chrissa Nicole Otto. Jennifer Michelle Palmiter. Susan Patricia Papitas. Mark Daniel Parrish. Megan Sarah Paul. Christina Elizabeth Paulson. Leslie Ann Pichet. Jessica Lind Peck. Adam Taylor Peary. Jeffrey Richard Patel. Teresa Marilyn Poljack. Rosa Loon Yoon Poon. Sarah Marie Prazik. Barbara Lou Quady. Timothy Allen Ramola. Kevin Gary Rask. Pascal Reichmuth. Jason Leo Reinhardt. Jacob James Rennick. Dirk William Renwick. Michael Terence Rhodes. Rebecca Lynn Rice. Jason T. Rowland. Anne Elizabeth Ryan. Derek S. Rishavi. Jessica Donna Sabathney. Christopher John Sable. Julie Marie Saldine. Rachel Christine Sapansky. Nicholas A. Shermers. Sunday Marie Shermers. Angela Marie Schmidt. Rebecca Ann Schmidt. Rebecca A. Schneider. Heather Noel Schultz. Peter James Schwartz. Amy Rebecca Scott. Nicole, Nicole Marie Siebert. Leah Dawn Sells. Tammy Janelle Shand. Amber Juliet Sharon. Monique Marie Samard. Aaron Edward Sinclair. Zachary Michael Sint. Brandon James Small. Brett Gregory Smith. Marnie Marie Smith. Sean Patrick Smith. Adam Christopher Smirka. Peter Alexander Snow. Kathleen Jessa Soderland. Naomi Annette Solfelt. Sopa Song. Carrie Lynn Southwell. Laura Elizabeth Sincere. Heather Faye Standevin. Alan Christian Staples. Alyssa Marie Steger. Trent Jerome Sterry. Julia Amy Stiff. Jared G. Stillwell. Malina Brooks Stone. Michelle Kristen Stover. Eric Bjorn Strand. Timothy Mark Strode. Jason Robert Strom. 
Emily Ardell Stull. Daniel Frank Summers. Michael J. Super. Julie Elizabeth Swanberg. Aaron Michael Swecker. Jesse Charles Swift. Ryan Ryan J. Tack. Kristen Sue Thiel. Tricia Lee Thorsland. Michael Ted Tinker. Sarah Renee Titsi. James Robert Toombs. Deborah C. Tui. Marlo Joy Underly. Ryan Patrick Vasky. Jean James Vavra. Carol Vega. Michael D. Vesley. Michael Paul Wagner. Sarah Marie Wagner. Chad Kenneth Willetsko. Corey Allen Walker. Amy Ann Walsh. Darren W. Walton. Kenneth Dwayne Ward. <laughs> Kelly Denise Weberg. Angela Elizabeth Weeks. Jonathan W. Wells. Greta Renee Westland. Allison Ann Westfall. Mark Daniel Westrom. Stephen Lee Whirr. Jennifer Marie Wiesner. Eric J. Wilgen. Michael Charles Willett. Jeremy M. Willie. Catherine Ann Winterbottom. Pat Patrick James Warner. Chad Allen Wolf. Scott H. Woodford. Troy Marcus Woolbridge. Ryan Samuel Weatherspoon. Gregory N. C. Wright. Stephen Yu. Kenneth Kai Yu. Sean Sebastian Zach. Patrick William Ziegler. Martin Donald Zelinski. Daniel James Zimmer. Daniel Lars Zimmerman. David Benjamin Zuko.